Analysts say many of President Trump's recent tweets are an attempt to appeal to suburban voters. But as CNN's Miguel Marquez reports, he's in big trouble among some Republican voters in at least one city's bedroom communities. Trump trouble in the Phoenix suburbs? He's very selfish. And I don't think he's conservative. The president's handling of the pandemic? He has just not been truthful about the coronavirus. Making voters who typically vote Republican. I have hope that we can uh, take the party back from extremism back to the center. Not only speak out, but organize to defeat him. Donald Trump wins Arizona. Trump won Arizona by less than four points in 2016. He still has support in this battleground state. We love him. But recent polls show Joe Biden with a narrow edge. Now even some current and former Republicans are organizing against Trump. You can't blame the president for the virus, but you can absolutely blame him for the complete lack of leadership and the mismanagement since that time. C.J. Deagle runs the Arizona chapter of Stand Up Republic, the nonpartisan political group co-founded by Evan McMullen, who ran as an independent in 2016. We want to make sure people know they have an outlet to permission, if you, if you will, to, to go out and either vote against Trump or just not cast a ballot for him. Deagle, a self-described lifelong Republican, never thought he'd say this. I, I will be voting for Joe Biden this year because I'm so, so disgusted. Kathy Vargas says she voted for Donald Trump. She now volunteers for Republicans for a new president. I would like to see a president that can unify the country, that can show empathy for others. The difficulty. Longtime Republican Daniel Barker, twice appointed a judge by Republican governors, has started a political action committee. Its name is its message. Arizona Republicans who believe in treating others with respect. If we could make a difference, whatever it might be, so that Joe Biden won Arizona, that is our hope. For now, he's printing and distributing Arizona Republicans for Biden yard signs. Laura Clement is working with the group Mormon Women for Ethical Government. It started after Trump's election. He was in denial, and he only started wearing a mask like a few weeks ago. So I think he only made it worse. She too says she's voting for Biden. The president and the pandemic. In the Grand Canyon state, a call to action for some Republicans to vote for anyone other than Donald Trump. All right, and with that being...